It's um, 3.25 a.m. Wednesday, May 6, 2020. I'm going to read Acts chapter 3. But first, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. And Father, I want to add that line from Luke chapter 2. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who are indebted to us. Thank you, Father, for your Spirit. Thank you for the fruits of the Spirit. And thank you that you might help me to understand your word. Thank you for the precious couple who prayed with me yesterday. What a blessing. Hallelujah. Okay, Acts chapter 3. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple and um, asked an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look, look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. I'll read that again, verse 6. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Hallelujah. And he Leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Talk about a miracle. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was, it, and they knew that it was he which was set, which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? And why look so earnestly on us? as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk the god of abraham isaac it, the, it, bleh, the god of abraham and isaac and of jacob the god of our fathers hath glorified his son jesus whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of pilate when he was determined to let him go mhm mm so 
God's people delivered up Jesus when Pilate wasn't going to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. And killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, wherefore we are witnesses. And his name through faith, in the name that hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yea, the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I want that through ignorance ye did it, and did also your rulers. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all the prophets that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And ye shall, and ye shall, and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto our fathers. A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. So they're comparing Jesus. No, Mo Moses said, okay, I get it now. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow, as many as have spoken, have I likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets, and the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall in the, and in thy seed shall all kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first, God, having raised up His Son Jesus, sent Him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from your from His iniquities. Wow. Acts chapter 4 And as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold until the next day, for it was now eventide. Eventide, yeah. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about five thousand. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes, and, and Annas the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were the kindred of the high priest, were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had sent them in the midst, they asked, by what power or by what name hath ye, have ye done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, If we this day be examined of the good deed done to the, important man, the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is a stone which was set at naught of ye builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for neither for, for there is none other 
name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Huh. And beholding the man which was healed standing before them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. There comes a time when you can't deny can't deny the power of the Lord when it's right in your face. But that it spread no further among the people, let it straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in his in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. Huh. It's kind of like what's going on today. You can't have church. Coronavirus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto more than unto God, judge ye? For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had, heard, they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. Hallelujah. For the man was above 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing was shown. <laughs> Hallelujah. And being let go, they went, to, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and sea and all that in them is, who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why then the heathen rage and people imagine vain things? The kings in the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For of a truth against the holy child Jesus, whom has anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together for to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. By stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken, where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. Hallelujah. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that, that all of these things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. And with great great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them, and brought the and brought the prices of the things with that were sold, and laid them down at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according. As he had need. Wow. So the people brought everything that they had. And, and laid, them, laid, them at the, laid it all at the apostles feet. And the apostles distributed. It to every man who had according to his need. And Joseph. Joseph. who by the apostles were surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted as son of consolation, a Levite, 
and of the country of Cyprus, having land sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Hallelujah.